so in this video we will let's add uh, no try to add navigation menu for our application so since we have two pages the department page and the employee page in our application so let's add two tabs in our navigation menu so let's go back to app component dot html page <coughs> and um, what we'll do is let's delete the entire content and start from the beginning let's have let's have a div container div class equal to container so this basically gives some space uh, some margins between the you know, the web page <coughs> so inside diff container let's have the title or maybe you know the heading of our application uh, some basic heading so let's have an h3 and uh, let's have a class equal to let's have it the flex so let's justify it in the center justify all the content in the center so let's add the title as angular <coughs> 8 with web api demo so let's copy the same thing and paste here with an uh, h5 tag so the title would be let's have the title of the application which is maybe employee management portal okay let's keep it as is and uh, try to check if everything is fine so we're gonna run the application by uh, typing the command ng serve dash dash open so this will open up the default web browser and uh, serve the application <coughs> So there we have it. Uh, we have the Angular 8 with the PPI demo with uh, an H3 tag and employee management portal in the H5 heading tag. Okay. Now let's try to add the navigation menu. We're going to use the bootstrap navigation menu. So let's have the nav class equal to um, okay navbar and navbar expand sm the background light color and navbar dark okay So now let's have the unordered list class equal to navbar nav. So inside that we need to have two tabs, right? <coughs> so li class equal to this time it is nav item and then so inside this we can have the 
uh, we can basically have a link or a button or anything uh, that we want to display as a tab no on click of it it has to show the employee tab and department tab right so let's have a button <coughs> whose uh, class equal to we'll use a bootstrap uh, style button again it's the margin one it's a button button light and button outline <coughs> primary something blue color okay and then let's say button and uh, let's have a label equal to um, so the first screen that we're gonna have okay we'll, we'll see what label is again so DP screen okay department screen <coughs> so we're gonna have to have some action right on click event we have to add so we're gonna add it later but uh, before that what we're gonna do is uh, let us complete this button and inside that the text will be department departments okay so let's have another list which and I mean the same thing for the employee employees let's save it and see what's the status <clears throat> so it's gonna recompile I mean it's, it's gonna compile on its own so basically what I want to do is on click of department I want to show the department page or the department component right and on click of employees I want to show the employees component so we're gonna see how to do that so first we're gonna go to let's go to the employee component and if you remember the way that we have to use if you want to use a one component in another component we have to make use of the selectors so let's go to the first department dot html now well, let's go to department dot ts so we can observe the selector for department is app dash department so if you want to display the department component here you have to you know use this selector but before that what we're going to do is we will open the department component dot html and uh, instead of department works let's say that this is the we're going to change it later this is the department component so we're going to simply display that and let's copy the same thing and go back to the not go back let's go to the employee component and uh, paste it instead of department it is this is the employee component okay now we have to figure out a way to display these components on click of a button ideally we have to navigate to a separate URL right that is what we discussed in the introduction uh, video so we have to on click of the button we have to change the URL as well so it should be slash department and on click of employee it should be slash employee right but before that we're gonna do simply show the component and then maybe later we'll try to add the routing so on click of department let's try to show this department component here <clears throat> so let's go back to the app component dot HTML and uh, add some click events to our buttons but before that on click what should we show right so that logic we're gonna write after the navigation menu let's have the component itself so the selector for let's say department is this thing right so let's copy this and let's go back to the app component dot HTML let's paste the selector so I have to display this component based on certain condition right so what condition that we have to 
display this is we can make use of the ng if keyword right so I'll say you have to display it if the department screen variable is set to true okay so I'm gonna display this component only if the department screen variable is set to true so let's keep it as employee screen not and department screen and then similarly let's have another selector for employee so the selector for employee is app dash employee you want to go back to the app component dot html and replace the selector of employee in place of the department <clears throat> so this time the variable that has to be true if you want to display employee component is emp screen so now we're going to map we're going to have an inline function for each of these buttons so if you click on department button we have to set the department screen variable to true and employee screen variable to false and on click of employee uh, sorry on click of employees button we have to set the department screen variable to false and employee screen variable to true so let's add the function here so this is how we add function here so on click of it what should happen department screen should be set to true because this is a department button and then what has to happen employee screen has to be set to false okay the same function let's copy and paste for the employee screen button as well but instead of department screen equal to true it should be false and the employee screen should be enabled as true so let's hope this thing works if we go back to the screen and uh, click on departments you can see that the component department is displaying similarly if you click on employees the department component will be removed and the employee component will be shown so the next thing is to display the grid on uh, each of these components and then the other actions such as the addition of new department or employees or edit of existing employee or department and maybe delete okay <coughs>